Hey there, Amy here from Knit Collage, and today I am going to dive deep with you into the collaboration that myself and the team here at Knit Collage has been working on for quite some time, and that is a dream yarn collaboration with Rochelle of Moondrake Yarn Co. So let's hop to it and dive into all the fun details right now. So if you're not familiar with Moondrake Co, I want to encourage you to go follow Rochelle, check out her site. She is an incredible indie dyer based out of Oklahoma City. And she was introduced to me by my friend Lizzie, who owns a yarn store um, in Wickford, Rhode Island called The Mermaid's Pearl. And Lizzie said, you got to collab with <laughs> Moon Drake. I had been really wanting to do something, a new collab ever since our collaboration with Jake of Kenyarn and find a new indie dyer to work with. And Lizzie, my good friend said, no, you're doing this. This is what's happening. And I cannot sing the praises of Rochelle anymore. She has been a dream to work with. And I'm super excited to share the yarns that she has dyed for us. So this collaboration is um, dyed on our Spun Cloud Light yarn. And we have two different colorways and two different bases. So there's a few different moving parts. We also have three patterns that we are going to showcase in the yarn. So lots of things and ideas on what to make with them. So first up, I am going to just dive into the yarns that I have here and show you what they look like. So this is the first colorway. This one is called Ultraviolet Unicorn. It is so pretty it is basically a pink rainbow and i love it so much this is our spun cloud light yarn so you're going to have the option to get this with sparkle and without sparkle in this colorway so two bases the sparkle base and the non-sparkle base so people have been asking especially um the members of our creative knitters community have been asking me for this yarn without sparkle. So we've gone ahead and done it for this collaboration as a trial. We may bring it to the entire yarn line at some point soon. So this is ultraviolet unicorn. It's, it's basically a rainbow. It's so pretty. I mean, it's just like one color flows to the next and it is so beautiful. And you can sort of see how it knits up in the sweater I'm wearing here. And here's another one of those skeins to give you an idea of how beautiful the skeins are and how they can look um, from skein to skein because each one will definitely be a little bit different and unique. These are all hand dyed just for us on our yarn base. So each one is truly a piece of art that Rochelle has created for us. So let's go to the second colorway. This one is also very beautiful. It is called Electric Seahorse. Let me see if I unwind this. I wanna show you this colorway, this like bright neon magenta. That's my favorite part of this yarn. And then this really, it's like a neon pastel green. It's, I don't even think the camera's doing it justice here. It's so luscious. And then of course we've got some blues. So for all the non-pink people out there, I think this is for you. It's so gorgeous. So that's that one. And same as, as the other yarn colorway, you'll have the option to get that in a sparkle base and a non-sparkle base. And it's really subtle, the sparkle. So the sparkle is one strand of Lurex spun around the yarn. That's what creates that plied, bumpy texture. This one is the sparkle. So you might be able to see a teeny glint of it. We're gonna do our best to show that in the photos that we have on the product listing. It's very subtle. So for folks that really love to go rainbow, sparkle, like kitchen sink, all the things, that's gonna be the one for you. And for those that are like, I'll take the rainbow, but maybe not the sparkle, then go non-sparkle base. <laughs> so that is for both colorways. We've got the sparkle and non-sparkle. So I'm super excited about this yarn. It is very fluffy, thick and thin, um, really interesting slubby texture. 
this is how it knits up. A lot of people call it like knitting with a cloud because it sort of looks like fluffy clouds as you work with it. Um, it's really, really pretty and fun to work with. And I think the dyeing process somehow made it bloom even more. It feels even more fluffy. It's just gorge. So those are the yarns. All of these go on sale on Wednesday, August 14th at 10 a.m. on our website. So I will post a link below to sign up to be the first to know. And if you put your email and address in there, you'll be the first to know when we go live. But they will be on the site 10 a.m. August 14th. And of course, we have a really limited supply of yarns. These are just, it's a one-time thing. I don't think we're gonna bring it back unless for some reason they like sell out in 10 minutes, <laughs> then we might have to do um, another batch, but I don't foresee doing that. Um, so we have a very limited number of skeins and then when it's done, it's done and we're moving on to the next thing. So I encourage you, if you have your heart set on something, to get in early and snag that. So let's dive into the patterns that I have to show you. So I want to start with this one. This is called the Easy Street Sweater. It is a very simple raglan sweater, and it was actually inspired by the sweater that I bought in my 20s. Um, I had this favorite sweater, and actually the Spun Cloud Light was inspired from this sweater too. It was one of my favorite sweaters ever. I wore it all the time. It was a really bright purple color, um, thick and thin texture, very soft and cozy wool yarn. Um, that sweater had a very shrunken fit, raglan, um, but also at the same time, just easy everyday sweater. So this is called the Easy Street Sweater. I collaborated um, with a tech editor to bring it to life for you. And it's a very basic pattern. You knit it top down from here all the way to here and increase throughout the raglans. We've got some short rows to create a really good fit for you. And really it's simple. So potato chip knitting, we like to call it, it's just knitting in the round, <laughs> that's that. The fun of this is going to be the yarn and knitting with these yarns and seeing the different colors come to life. So this is the easy street sweater. We're going to have kits available in both of these yarns and both of these bases. So you can order a kit to make this yarn that will come with the yarn and the pattern in ultraviolet unicorn, in sparkle and non-sparkle, and then the electric seahorse in sparkle and non-sparkle. So four options and then it's in all the sizes. So really cute. I knit this, I think I knit this in a week or two. It was really fast. It flew for me and it was so much fun. So before I dive into the accessory patterns, oh, and one more thing in the, um, I'll create a blog post that I'll link below that will have just the sizing information. If you wanna choose your size early and um, gauge, needles, fit, and pricing so you can see all of that um, in advance before we go live on the 14th. So before we dive into our accessory patterns, we have two hat patterns in this yarn. I want to show you what this sweater looks like solid because we're also going to have kits of this sweater in our Spun Cloud Light yarn just solid like our plain Spun Cloud Light yarn that we usually have on the site. So let me show you that first. I've knit this once and then um, a team member Paige knit it once too. Luckily both in my size, so I'm gonna show you both of those. First up, I'll show you the one I knit. Oh my gosh, I forget the name of this colorway. I'll put it down below. It's, uh, I think it's hazy willow green. I think it's that. Um, I knit this one last March and I, love it like it's you know it's a simple color it's not a crazy bright color compared to that last one but it's certainly an every day wear everywhere sweater i could see putting like um you know just some really fun pants like i'm super into the barrel shape and those free people jeans that you probably see in all of our photo shoots that are called the moxie jeans they're like a barrel with a drawstring they're really cool like just sort of a more fashion pant cool belt i think that um it's really fun it's really easy simple throw over everything type sweater so yeah pretty sure the color name is 
hazy willow green for this one. And let me show you the bright purple one. And I think we have this in, um, I'm pretty sure we have some nice photos of this on a model, so you're not stuck with looking at just me. <laughs> Few ends I haven't woven in there as well. All right, so this is the very first sample we knit. We actually changed the raglan um, detail here. So this one doesn't fit in it quite the same way as the other two. We changed the raglan seam a bit to just fit better, but this will give you an idea of the color. So I'm pretty sure this is electric violet, this colorway. This is very similar to the color of my original sweater that I was obsessed with in my 20s. Just super fun, bright purple. So another really great option, um, really cute, love it. Okay, let's dive into the accessory patterns and the Moondrake collab in the Moondrake collab yarn. I have one very fun hat to show you. This is a new hat pattern that is actually based on one of Cheryl Kubat's original patterns for our site that she created maybe five years ago. It's called the Woodlands Ear Flap Hat. And she created this in our spun cloud. And I thought, you know what? We need that hat in this Moondrake collab yarn because it's a statement hat. So I am going to just throw it on for you. We have double tassels. <laughs> <laughs> and this is cable detail here and of course a pom-pom on top so really a fun statement hat and this takes two skeins of yarn and the reason it takes two skeins is because we're using quite a bit of yarn in the tassels you're not going to use a ton of your second skein you'll have some left over but it uses a lot of yarn in the tassels and the pom-pom on top. So yeah, so this is, I am very excited to wear this statement hat all winter long. It's really sweet and cozy. So that's that. It's going to be called the Woodlands Cable Hat Light. And we will um, have this pattern available on the site. We're going to do it as a free download to go with the collaboration release. So super excited about that. Okay, the next hat is the Come As You Are beanie. This one we knit in the elect no, ultraviolet unicorn combo, or I knit it in the electric unicorn combo. This is a pattern we released as a free pattern a few years ago. It's by Christine Young, and it's a one skein pattern. It's really simple, it's rib, it's, I mean, this would, aside from being something I would wear literally every day, <laughs> I think this would make a really great special gift as well. I knit this in a few days time. I mean, it, it flew and um, the yarn is so special. I think just in a simple rib like this, it, it goes away, a long ways. So it's really cute. It is quite long, so I've knit it so that I can roll up the brim like this. If you don't want a double layer brim, you could knit it to be shorter or longer and have it be like really, really slouchy um, and just wear it like that. So it's totally your call. I kind of like it with the brim up personally. So that's my preference. It's more like this but of course it's totally your call. So this is gonna be another free pattern on the site. Well, it already is, but we'll definitely be highlighting it um, and adding the pictures of this hat to that pattern so that you know, oh yeah, this is the right pattern that goes with this yarn and it's just one skein. So I thought um, Rochelle had a really cool idea, which was to do a two color version of it, like with one color sort of in a big color block on the bottom and another color on top. And I thought that, you know, was a really cool idea. So I'm gonna try that. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Check out my Instagram if you wanna see what that looks like as I get going on it. Um, yeah, so we have these three patterns. The Easy Street Sweater will be available in the Moondrake Yarn Collabs and our Solid Spun Cloud Light. And then those two accessories, this and the Woodland Cable Hat. Um, I think the only other thing I want to tell you about is that I have an awesome interview with Rochelle that's coming out really soon. 
And if you're on our email newsletter list, you'll see that pop up. Or if you subscribe to the Collage Creative Podcast, you'll see that pop up. We dive deep into her story. And so if you don't know anything about Rochelle, or if you're a Rochelle Moondrake Yarn Co. super fan, you're gonna wanna listen to this. We dive into how she got started as an indie dyer, her previous life as a business owner where she owned a cafe slash board game. Like it was a board game cafe with her husband. Super cool story and then pivoted to this later. Um, and then, you know, where she's gone with that business now and how she's taken it to the heights that she's taken it to. She gives us some great insights on um, what she listens to while she's making things, while she's dying her yarn. She gives us great on advice on how to bounce back from hardship and failure. And then at the end, how to um, lead a more creative life. If you are in that camp, if you want to lean into your creativity in a bigger, deeper way. So I, I don't want you to miss out on that episode. It's going to be really fun. We talk a little bit about the yarn collab at the end, but it's mainly just about Rochelle and her awesomeness. So I want to encourage you to listen to that. And then finally, the yarn and the kits go live on Wednesday, August 14th, 10 a.m. Eastern time. If you are interested in getting in on this, I want to encourage you to really order early. We don't have a ton of it. We ordered a limited amount. Um, so once it's gone, it's gone. I really don't foresee getting more of this. So I want to encourage you to hop on early and come knit one of these beautiful pieces with us. All right. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.